In this strategic military camp outside Madagascar's capital city, soldiers no longer answer to the president. Two days ago, they mutinied. Now, they appoint their own military leader. Who heads the army now? I do. 200 troops are in the room, but there's no telling how many others will join their ranks. We never said anything about a coup d'état. We are acting within the army, because here, now, the orders are not getting through. We need the situation to be clearly defined. Meanwhile, the French embassy has had to close. The president's supporters heard the news that their political adversary was temporarily under French protection, and they're furious. We have nothing against the French. We oppose the French who the French who manipulate and who finance the opposition. The French TGV. A while later, a fire breaks out several kilometers away. This time it's the other camp, anti-government protesters and looters. It takes armed police to disperse the crowd. They ransack the house because it belonged to an ally of the president. The day ends, and it's still unclear who exactly is running the country. The army's loyalties seem split, the president's authority is waning, and his adversary is nowhere to be seen.